Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and two weeks ago I shared a video where I showed our new Spellbinders dies for this fall, and I received a few requests asking that I show more detail what the dies actually look like cut out from paper, so I'm here to do that today. And I have samples of them, and I've also made a few cards to show you what they look like as well. So here's the first die or die, die set I should say and this is decorative accents labels 40 dies and this one is S4466 I will have all the um, product codes in the description box below and if you want to look this specific one up when you go to Cut at Home's website on the right hand side there will be a search bar you can actually put this number or any of the other numbers that I show in that search bar and it'll bring up this specific die so again, that'll be in the description box below. So this one here, as you can see, you receive four dies, and I made a sample card here. This large one is this die cut, this black die cut in the back. Isn't that beautiful? This is a very intricate die. It has heart shape on all four sides here. And this die cut here from the pattern paper is the second largest one. So again, that's just an absolute beautiful die. The other two, one is like a postage stamp. Here it is here. Let me hold it against the white so you can see it better. And the smaller one is here as well. So as you can see, you get some beautiful die cuts from this. And on the inside of this card, I used another die that I'll show you here in a moment. So let me set this aside. Our next die cut here is one of the Delights Holiday Angel die. And this one is S3-209. And as you can see, that is a very intricate die. Absolutely beautiful. There's her face there, her arms, her wings. Let me zoom in just a little for you on that. That one is Holiday Angel. The next one here is Labels 40 and you get five separate dies from this. So you can cut them out in frames. If you cut them at the same time, you'll get this frame here, or you can cut them out all separately. This one is Labels 40, and it's S4-465. And an example of this one was on this, on the inside of this card. That's the second size down. Here are also a few of the other sizes that you receive. And I made a card with them. This is the large die. You can actually cut the card itself. So what you want to do is take a folded card and place it, the die, you, you can see the ridge here, that's the actual die. So you wanna place the die right above the edge of your card and it will leave this part intact but cut the rest of it out into a shape. So I did that, which gives me this decorative die. I added one in the middle so you can use a white pen to fill your greeting out with. And I added the second one down for a decorative mat. And then I also use this happy birthday, which we'll, I'll show you in a, a minute. So again, this one is Labels 40. There are three in this one. This one is the Florida Elegance die. These are gorgeous. And the number on this is S4475. You get three dies with this. And let me show you some samples of that. 
Now here's the largest die, which I cut in half, and I'll show you how I use that on a card. But look at the detail in that. Here is the second die. And then here is the small one. And I used both of these on a card, which I will show you. Here's the card that I made. And I used one half of the die this way as you can see in the back. And then I use this tiny die from this pattern paper here to add my sentiment, which I'll show you that die also in a moment. So that gives it such just a, a unique look to a card. And you can use it, you know, a, 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 on a full card, a larger size card, or you can cut it in half. And what I like to do is use dies like this also in a mini album. So say it was on the edge of your page, you put it in there like this and you can then use this as a pocket if you only adhere this part down, which I did on the inside of this card. So I used the other half, I put it on the side and then I added a small note card from the collection that I can add my greeting and tuck into here. So again, that is the Floor de Elegance. This one is Contemporary Circles, and this is a card front die. This is S4450, and here's the sample that I showed of that. You get two dies with this. You get the decorative part, which if you use on a front, front of a card, it will only cut out this on the front to give you a window in the front. You can add the second die to it, and this is a perfect cut for an A2 size card. So, for example, on this card here, I did not use this die. I only used the card front die to cut out my pattern paper, and it cut a perfect A2, which is four and a quarter by five and a half size piece of paper. So I was able to add it straight to my card. So this is a really neat um, new one that they have. Uh, makes it very easy to make cards. And also I have a sample of this in black. This is again the Contemporary Circles. Then also I have another card front die to share and this is the floral die. So again you get the card front itself and then you get the floral. So you could add this to your the front of your card just like this. You would probably want to add a little bit of washi tape or low tack tape to it. Open it up and run it through your die cut and you will get this cut out in the front of your card. But again, I chose with the contemporary circles to cut the entire front and I was able to add it right to my card front. So it makes it super simple. So again, this one is the floral, S4452. And here's my sample for that. So again, I cut the entire card, uh, card front out in black. I added it to um, this back pattern piece of paper and this pattern piece of paper I used just this portion to cut out. So I was able to add that to my card front and then add this decorative layer on top. I added a few flowers and a sentiment from the Lawn Fawn Our Friendship Grows stamp set that's also at Cut at Home. And I added a few pearls that match the pink and the flower. So isn't that pretty, that card front? And I'll tell you, it's so easy to make cards that way. So I just love that they came out with those. The next one I'd like to share is this one. This one is called Sparkle Dye, and it's S4476. You have two dies with this, and if you place them in there like this, you want to tape them together, tape them on there with some washi tape, it'll cut this border out. So look at this intricate die here, I love it. So that's the sparkle die. Delights Holiday. And you get all these sentiments. You get Noel, Joy, Happy, Holidays, and Merry and Christmas. So you can build your own sentiments with that. 
These are the Delights Holiday Sentiment and it's S2118. I did the Happy Birthday, which is also a delight, which I'll show you here. And I cut about four of them, glued them together, and it gives them a thickness, almost like chipboard. So you can also do that with these holiday sayings as well. The next one I'd like to share is the Delights Conversation Bubble 4, and you get two cloud conversation clouds, and these are S2138. And here's what they look like. They have a stitched edge around them, so it gives them just a, a little bit of embossed look. It's sentiment three and you get happy birthday and with love. This is S2139. And samples of those are this happy birthday here that I just showed you that I cut out several times. Here's a card that I showed before that I did, the happy birthday white on white, and then I added some of the color in it. So as you can see, that's a fun font. And this one, this is how it cuts out. This one here, I just cut it in half so I could put it on top of each other. And also on this card here is the happy birthday. And for this card here, I use the with love, and same thing, I just cut it to stack on top of each other. So I hope this helps to see the die cuts actually cut out from paper and I will again have all the product links in the description box below. If you have any questions please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.